everyone. So it's morning and I'm just gonna make myself some breakfast. So why don't you come along? Okay, so this kanji is gonna be my own original recipe and uh, I hope you guys are gonna like it. Okay, so for the first step, you basically grab your pot and it fill it up with cold water. How much water you put in really depends on how uh, liquidy you want your kanji to be. And uh, I put in about three cups, three to four cups of water and um, that should be good for me. <laughs> so next, you just turn up your um, stove too high and uh, put on the lid to start boiling the water. Now before you prep anything, what I do first is put in the rice. So I'm going to grab my rice. So here I have my bowl of rice. I'm just going to put in the water. It doesn't have to be boiling yet. So there I go. Make sure don't splash the water out. Okay. So just put it in there. And uh, with a spoon or a spatula, just like press it down so it, it's easier to cook. It's more spread out. In making kanji, boiling the rice probably takes the longest. So I'm just going to let that cook. So you can see the water completely covers the rice and some more. So just let it boil. It will take about 20 to 30 minutes to boil. And while we wait, we're going to prep uh, the stuff we're going to put in the kanji. It's going to be delicious. So. So when you choose your ingredients, I recommend choosing between three to four. So what I have here are some uh, fish tofu. Uh, looks like tofu, but it tastes like fish. And it's a Chinese ingredient you can find in your local Chinese uh, supermarket. So it comes in a package like this, and it's in little squares. Sometimes it's in uh, a fish shape. So you can basically ask um, anyone, and they'll probably lead you to it. And also, I have some dried small shrimps. So these are really tiny shrimps that have been dried up with their skin on, so it's really high in calcium. So good for your bones. I'm also going to put in some Korean red pepper powder because I love Korean food and I love the taste of uh, pepper powder. But if you don't like really hot food, um, you can skip it. And here I also have some green beans. It's about um, a handful of green beans. Green beans is okay as for a vegetable choice because you can cook it for a long, long time and it won't uh, wilt. And I just put a tablespoon of the dry shrimp and I'm going to dump in the kanji together. So after your water has boiled, just turn down the dial to about a medium. And uh, every couple minutes, try to stir it so the rice doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. So I'll see you back in about 15 more minutes as the rice finishes. But remember, don't let the water finish boiling. If you see that most of the water is almost gone, add some more water to it. And <laughs> don't set off your fire alarm. Okay, see you back in a couple minutes. So I'm from the northeastern part of China. And uh, most of the food I cook is going to be representative of that area. So if some of your friends tell you, like, no, that's not what we eat every day, it's probably true because China is so huge. And uh, most of the recipes I'm going to cook are my own. So it's likely that you're not going to see anyone else cooking the same recipe. But I hope you like it all the same. So after 20 minutes, your water is going to be very starchy. At this point, you should put in all the ingredients. So your fish tofu, the beans and um, dried shrimp, oh, and also your red pepper powder. I'm just going to estimate it. That should be good. That should be about two um, tablespoons. And what you want to do, just with your chopstick or your fork, just stir it around and cook for another five minutes and then you can add in some salt. I would say about two pinches of salt because um, it's a breakfast item, you don't want it too salty. So let that just cook away for five minutes. Uh, that looks so awesome. Okay, so I have my kanji 
with all the meats and vegetables for my daily requirements. And I also have my herbal tea, which is rose and honey. And the amount that you cook can basically serve two people, or you're really hungry like I am, I'm gonna eat it all by myself. Okay, so I'm gonna eat my kanji and watch some uh, China Got Talent. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, drooling.